Welcome to Genuine Core guys. In this video, I will talk about the preference API from the java.util.prev package, which can be used for storing preference values in your application. For example, let me show you my library management software. And in this software, I want to show some parameters like the number of days without fine and fine per day after this number of days. In uh, such cases, either we can use go for the JSON or XML uh, to store this value separately, or we can use the preference API to store data persistently suppose suppose uh, after closing when i go back to this window i'm still getting the configuration values so let us learn about the preference api so let me start a new project uh, it doesn't have to be a java fx project it is available from the java.util.package and let the name be pref and i'm going to start the new project and here i have a sample preference class and here in order to save the preference I want to use the preference class so preference preferences pref equals and the preferences is an abstract class so you can create directly create an instance of it instead you can use the static function uh, either one of the four. I mean, you can use the preference dot system node for package, system root, user root, or user node for package. And this uh, preferences is stored in a tree tree structure. So, in uh, for this example, I am going to use the preferences dot user node for package, and I am going to give the class name preference dot class. So, in this case, a hierarchy of or a tree will be created and the data that we are going to put will be saved on the pref node i mean the pref node will be inside a node called pref i mean it will be a child of the node pref and next the data you want to save can be inserted using the put function and you can insert either string boolean byte array double float int or long remember this can be used for storing complex data types but this is very best or this is the best suitable method for uh, storing normal configuration values like uh, uh, like th that we have seen in the library software so preferences dot put suppose i want to put the username and pref dot put username admin so that's it uh, just with these two lines you can save the username permanently and whenever you want to retrieve the data all that you have to do is to pref dot get and you will have to give the key and in my case i am going to give the uh, username and this is the default value that will be used when no match found i mean i am going to give root so let's go for system dot out dot print line and let's run the code so as you can see we have stored the username as a uh, username as admin and when we retrieved it we got it as admin and this route will be only taken when no match found for the class if you want to know where the preference values are saved, I have made a quick search on Stack Overflow and found that in Windows operating system it is stored in the Windows registry and in Linux it is stored in Java in home under the .java folder. So uh, let us have a look into the .java folder in my system and there is a folder called user pref and inside that there is a folder called pref. The inside pref there is pref.xml so uh, under pref.xml you can see that it is an xml file and inside there is an entry username and the value is admin in some cases if you want to export the uh, xml file for saving or giving to someone else then you can use the pref.export node and in that case you will have to give an output stream in my case i'm going to give a file output stream with a file my file dot xml and it throws some exception so surround statement with try catch okay that's fine now let us uh, run the code and let us have a look into the 
directory of my project so that will be pref and inside pref there is a file called my file xml and it contains the xml value for my project uh, the, for my configuration so that's it guys that's how you use the preferences for saving your configuration i think it is very simple because the, it only takes one line of code to save these preference values and the last thing i want to show you is to if you have an xml file that contains some preferences then you can load the xml file using the preference pref loaded instead of using preferences dot user not for package you can use preference dot import preferences and you can use a new file input stream for reading the xml value so that's it i hope the you found this video useful thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more cool videos